we just live in a society where even music is like fast fashion. It's so fast and it's kind of sad because art takes time and story takes time and I guess the experience as well behind the story takes time to feel and understand as well. Mm. Sorry, I just went on a bit of a tangent. I do that. <laughs> Hi, my name is Emily Woodamara and I'm a one and three awkward woman. I'm a singer songwriter, I'm a producer and I'm also a full time mum. And I'm here at Happy Mag to talk about my latest single, Magic Woman Dancing. Magic Woman Dancing is a song I wrote when I was in high school about this person who absolutely inspired me in all perspectives. She was very rebellious, very staunch, she knew what she wanted, she was very open and sensual as well like there were just all these beautiful attributes and personalities about her that I really adored and love because I wish I could do the stuff and be that confident and be that flamboyant and I think she really inspired me and motivated me to step outside of my boundaries when the song was being written because I was so young and so you know there's all those emotions of like jealousy of like envy wanting to be someone that you just couldn't be. Instead of being like, oh, like I hate you or like I wish I could be you, I was like celebrating this person and that's what the song's about, is celebrating people for their uniqueness. To let go in, in the dance of your own self-expression and your own freedom, I feel like there's a lot of different types of industries in a lot of different spaces that tend to box people in under labels or stereotypes or what society expects of them. This being my first single, I wanted to come out and be like, actually, I don't fit into a box as an artist and I won't do that because that's not what I'm here for. I'm here purely for the music and to create a safe space for people to feel whatever they need to feel through my words and my all the amazing people that are involved um, in the single as well. I just want to go out in the, in the streets and like dance in the rain and yeah, just let, let go and be free for a bit. So I recorded Magic Woman Dancing up on Larrakee Country in Darwin at Boat Ramp Studios, so James and Katie Baker's studio. Um, I stayed at their house for three weeks and Magic Woman was one of the songs that we recorded. You've kind of had a really long collaboration with, with Kunya? Kuya? Kuya. Kuya. Kuya means brother, big brother in Tagalog. So my dad is Filipino Chinese. My mum, she's Aboriginal, Greek, Turkish, Italian as well. So it's all these mix, but Kuya um, is big brother in Tagalog. Kuya James and I first collaborated on this song called Yuani by Mumbali Ban. And Mumbali Ban is a band from Northern Territory. Incredible First Nations band from Northeast Arnhem Land. And a lot of the members in the band are also my family members. And this song that we collaborated on called Yuani is a song line. And so when when he asked me to be a part of that, I got so emotional because the last time a female had sung this song was my great great grandmother who um, used to sing it with all the old men and I just felt this full circle moment. I was like, I, of course I want to work on you with this and Queer James has been such a big support of my art and, and of my journey so far. And I was like, these are all the songs that I want to put on my album, but I'm not too sure. And come to Magic Woman and I was like, look, I'm not sure about this, but I've never performed it live. I've never sung it live. No one knows about the song. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? And he was like, sis, you've got you've to put this on the album. Like, it's just so deep and so meaningful. And because you wrote it at such a young age. And I was like, you know what? I think vulnerability is, is also, like, can also be seen as staunch and strong as well. And I think, especially as an artist, when you're vulnerable within yourself and when you're vulnerable with your art, it allows others and inspires others to be vulnerable. We live in a society where there's this toxic positivity, love, light, live, like all of these things are getting thrown around. But the deeper meaning of that comes to the core and comes to yourself. And unless you're doing the hard work on yourself, then you can't expect others to do the hard work for you. Yeah, I just feel like it just naturally came together this collaboration and I don't think I can trust anyone with, with such deep personal stories um, he really is like my family um, I've got 
a couple of really fun projects coming up. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about some of them yet, but there is a couple of collaborations coming up with some international artists that I've been working on. And I've also been, just been flat sticks busy making this next project an era of me visually, aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> If, you, if you've seen the, the, the film clip, let's just say there'll be more of that coming. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, Claudia Santiorchi, who directed the film clip, Pork Store Productions as well, who came on board to help. Absolutely incredible. I presented her with like a 300 board Pinterest and I was like, girl, can you summarize this for me? <laughs> this is the story. I gave her this poem and she was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, look, Clouds, I'm so weird. I'm an Aquarian. I am so weird. And she was like, that's okay, because then we can be weird together. And I, it was just like a match made in heaven. I loved it. I love Claudia. Incredible woman. I think I'd like to touch on something if that's okay. I think it's really important to acknowledge that as artists we are ever changing we like can't stick to just one thing our stories and our the way we shape things our environment um, changes us subconsciously whether we realize it or not that's totally okay to do like we're totally okay and valid to express ourselves at any point in our careers and our lives as we see fit and what we see as us because the stereotypes and and the expectations of society that gets put puts on artists especially um, we've got to remember that we're human beings as well and we feel everything and we feel so deeply because of that. Because this industry can be so tough and can be so challenging to navigate. Um, and if that was one thing that I wished I said to myself earlier was to, is to surround myself with good people that actually care about myself and my art. Thank you so much for having me, Happy Mag. It has been such a pleasure to talk about my new single, Magic Woman Dancing, and I cannot wait to share more with you this year. And please keep an eye on this space because she's only getting louder. Oi. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you so much for having me.